So I got a little bit of bad news. Well, I had another hawk attack here at the homestead. The hawk was able to take out my little white bantam rooster before I was able to get outside and scare it off. This little white bantam, he was kind of special. He preferred to roost at night by himself and he definitely liked to be hand fed. Now I know this kind of thing is going to happen from time to time because I prefer to let my chickens free range. I don't want to keep them locked up. They definitely eat a lot better and I think they're a lot happier when they're able to go where they please. Let's just hope that old hawk, he didn't get a taste for chicken and make an appearance again anytime soon. Most of the chickens ran for shelter inside the coop when uh, the hawk showed up. Everything's calmed down enough now that uh, it came back out of the coop, but they're still got taking shelter underneath that cedar tree. Well, some good news is the younger hens are starting to lay bigger eggs and there's a lot more of the younger hens than there is older so I'm also getting a lot more eggs I see uh, <laughs> somebody was still doing their business yeah those aren't warm so She'll be back if she didn't get finished. And that's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's a jackpot here. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen, that one's still warm. I forgot where I'm at, fourteen and fifteen. Got this chain here in my way that supports one of the feeders. Let's close this up and then I got a few more places to check. Oops. Hmm. Wrapped around the feeder. There we go. I got two nest boxes, but occasionally they lay eggs elsewhere. Sometimes I find them on the, hello Red. Sometimes I find them on the floor of the coop or in the run, but I generally check a couple times a day, so I know they haven't been laying very long. It's a weird colored one. Yeah. I done lost count. There's quite a few today. That's definitely good news. Oh, almost forgot. Occasionally they lay some up here in this straw. I use this for the, uh, put in the floor of the chicken run and in the coop occasionally. Well, I got a whole parcel full today. Let's get these in the house. Well, I got them eggs put in the house. Let's go back out to chicken run, see if we can find some bad news. Well, this is the bad news. It don't look like it. But a lot of this, uh, there you go. This plastic sheathing that I put up to protect the chickens from the cold wind is pulled loose. There's really a little bit of good news in there. It's 74 degrees today and it's not really needed. I'm going to go ahead and get it restapled because I figure eventually winter time is going to be here and they're going to need it. news when you got to get down on your hands and knees with this kind of stapler 
just to staple this plastic up. The good news is, I found a slap stapler. Makes the job go a whole lot faster. Looks like a little bit more bad news. The rain barrel that uh, catches rainwater for the chickens running dry. We haven't had that much rain here lately. But not to worry. I got a water hose right here that'll fix that problem. I asked the chickens where we were at. Good news or bad news, they couldn't remember. Neither could I. Good news is, I bought a bag of scratch. Really, really clean. No husks, no dust, nothing. Really nice. Bad news is, I paid $15.25 a bag compared to the regular $8 a bag. <laughs> Red, I want to know where you was at when that hawk attacked. You're slacking. I've seen Red sound the alert several times when birds fly over. Not even a hawk. A buzzard may fly over. Not going to do any harm to the chickens, but uh, he'll let everybody know, take cover. Good news is, that hen went back to the nest box after we let her alone. I'll get at least one more egg later tonight. Gotcha. Well, thank you, Mr. Bantam Rooster. Well, I've got more good news. You actually made it to the end of another video. <laughs> now, I know good things and bad things always happen. Try to keep a good attitude when something bad happens. Most likely, it'll turn out better than what you thought. With that being said, I'm out of here, and I'll catch you next time at Little Do Homestead. Y'all have a good night, everybody.